Question 94, well, which one of the following represents the latest stage in the meiotic division of a diploid cell whose nucleus usually contains four chromosomes? So we've got this parent cell with four chromosomes in it. What happens is it undergoes in uh, prophase one replication, forming these uh, homologous chromosomes. Uh, so we form these homologous chromosomes and what happens is um, a number of stages occur, including anaphase, whereby these homologous chromosomes are split apart, giving us um, the daughter cells with one set of homologous chromosomes um, in each cell. So uh, a number, that's the sort of telophase one stage, a number of stages occur after that, including anaphase two, whereby each of these homologous chromosomes are split apart into their um, respective sister chromatids, giving us four um, granddaughter cells with two sets of sister chromatids. Um, so these are the sister chromatid forms. So just notice that um, in telophase one, we've got this X form, whilst in telophase two, we've got these single um, chromosome, sister chromatid form. So let's try and answer the question, which one of these is going to occur latest? So you'll notice that uh, one and four are the only ones with this sister chromatid uh, form, the non-X form. So one and four are going to be occurring much later than two and three, which have this homologous chromosome um, X form. So we're down to one and four. Well, four is wrong because four has too many sister chromatids in there. To have that many sister chromatids in our anaphase two moment, we'd need to have uh, four pairs of chromosomes in our initial parent cell, but we don't have that. Our initial parent cell only has two pairs of chromosomes. So therefore, the correct answer for uh, question 94 is the first diagram, and therefore A is the correct answer.